Hi, you're with Chandeep at Goodly once again. And in this video, I'm going to share with you that how can you apply filters with multiple criteria on your data using Power Query. Now, specifically, I have three examples for you here. Let's say we have this data and on this data, uh, we have one column as region. Uh, how can I apply a dynamic filter on this column, the filter that actually comes from a spreadsheet and then extract the data. So whatever region you write here, maybe north, maybe east, maybe south or west, uh, and you're going to get uh, the data for that particular region, all the other columns uh, someplace, maybe here on the right hand side. And the second example that I'm going to share with you that as of now, this is just one filter criteria. How can you have more than one filter criteria? Maybe you'd like to extract two regions, so north and east, and then you'd be able to extract the data for two regions. Uh, the third dynamic filter that I'm going to speak about is that at times you would have the need to apply filters on two columns. So let's say, for example, I'd like to apply filter multiple filters on the region column. So let's say north, east and south. And against that, I'd like to apply filters on the sales rep column and again, multiple values here. So how can you apply dynamic multiple filters, uh, maybe more than one column and extract the data? And we're going to do all of that using Power Query. And once we're done with Power Query in Excel, I'm going to show you that how could you do nearly the same stuff in Power BI as well. So let's get started. So what I've done is I've already loaded this data into uh, Power Query. And the only data that I'm going to load now is this little filter uh, table here. So both of these data sets have been converted to a table. This data is already loaded and I'm going to load this data as well. So I click on this table, I go to the data tab and I click on from table range and I have uh, this uh, region of north which is my filter condition loaded into my power query now what I'm going to do is I am going to drill down into the first value because I would like to now filter for the north so I right click on the first cell and then I click on drill down so what this is going to do is this is going to convert this table into a singular value uh, that is thrown by power query as an answer. So when I click on drill down, all that I will see is that uh, the first row of the query is now converted to a single value. Now I go back to the data here and let me just delete that, this step and this data is unfiltered. So let's just say that I'd like to filter this data. I go to the region column. I click on uh, let's say region and let's say for now, I am just applying the filter as east, which is manual as of now. I rather would like to connect that uh, filter uh, to this to this uh, filter query. I'm going to click on OK. And you can see that in the formula bar, we have the word east here. Now, what I'd like to do is I'd like to replace the word east with this query, which has a single value called north. So I'm going to write F-I-L-T-E-R. Note that this is case sensitive. So if you have F capital here, you might as well do that same here as well. So I'm going to press enter and I have this filtered by the north. Now this is one way of doing that. You can also do it using the interface, which I'm going to talk about that a little later. But for now, you can just manage this with the formula bar. So I apply that and I'm just going to say close and load and close and load two. And let's just load the data in the same worksheet uh, as a table. And in K4, say OK. And this is now only for the region of north. Now let's say I uh, change the region here. I make it west and I refresh this query. Uh, now the filter has been revised to west. Now in the, f the only value which is in the filter query is going to be west and our data should now be filtered to only west. Let's just take a look. Yes, it is. And we can just have west here. All right, this is also good, but uh, what if somebody says that, hey, I don't really want to have filter for only one region. Maybe I'd like to have filter for two regions. I'd like to have west and east, both, both the regions I'd like to have it here. Uh, then we need to change the query slightly and we need to follow a different approach than this because what is happening is that if I just maybe explain you real quick as to what is happening and why this method is not sufficient for handling two values, because what is happening is that if you take a look at the filter query, uh, the actual drill down is happening on the first row itself. That means even if I did write underneath west, I wrote east, uh, the value that is getting drilled down into is only the value as west. So it will keep on giving you the first value, but not both the values. So that's the reason why this technique would slightly not work for that. And let's just take a look at what can we do in case we have to apply filter for two values. So I'm just gonna move over to the mul multiple filter sheet. And you can see that I have a query here, which actually gives me uh, three regions, north, 
west uh, sorry these are actually the same region so i'm just going to delete that so we have north and west and i'd like to extract the data for both of these regions so we're going to use the same data we're going to use the same data but the result is going to be different so let's just see how can we do that so for this time i'm going to load this query into my power query so i'm just going to go to data and i'm just going to load this query so from table range and i have this uh, query loaded all right now this is this was my data and i'm just going to replicate this query once again so i'll right click here and i'm just going to duplicate the query so that we have that query one more time and the last condition that we applied on filtered rows which was connecting to our filter the drill down here i'm just going to delete that so that it becomes the becomes a normal data and i'm just going to just write multiple filters here all right so this is the multiple filters result now what i'd like to do is i'd like to get the um, region filtered by only these two north and west for this we are going to use something called as an inner join right so we're going to join the two queries which is this query which is the data itself unfiltered as of now and this query which has two rows of filter and we're going to ask the query that wherever you match north or match west please keep only those rows and delete the rest let's just take a look at how can we do that so i'm going to go to home and i'm going to go to merge queries and in merge queries um, i'm going to pick up filter 2 and you can see that filter 2 is right here so i'm going to click on region i'm going to click on region and right now this is using left outer which is synonymous to vlookup but instead of left outer i'm going to say inner only matching rows so it's going to keep the matching rows from both the tables so wherever it finds north it will keep the row wherever it finds west it will keep the row and the rest rows are going to be removed and i'm just going to say okay and you can see that um, 294 rows uh, have been matched out of 590 I'm going to click on OK and you can see that it has created a table here. Now this table will have again the same row west because the west and west were matched. But actually we don't need this column anymore. This was just to do a kind of sort of a, a matching VLOOKUP kind of thing. But now you can see that in the previous step we had 590 rows. But as soon as we applied the merge query step and we used the full inner join, uh, you can see that um, we just are left with 200, sorry, we just, just left with 294 rows. And I can conveniently then delete this column. I don't need this column anymore. The work of this column is done. And I'm just gonna say, gonna say close and load two and load this data right here uh, as a table in this cell, all right? All right, and you can see that we have west and we have north here. Let's just say that I write south here, S-O-U-T-H, and I hit a refresh, so I should have north and south data. So I refresh, and you can see I have north and south data, and the rest two are gone. All right, one of the last examples that I also have in this is that, let's say, as of now, both the filters are coming from the same column, that means region column. And what if somebody would like to apply two distinctive filters on two different columns? That means that I'd like to have a filter on the sales rep as well. So let's just say that I add another column to this table. I just write sales rep here, sales rep, remove the filters from here. And let's say I'd like to have Rajat, and I'd like to have Swati, and I'd like to have Veronica. All right, and this is again for North. So I'd like to have two sales rep from the North, which is Veronica and Rajat, and one sales rep from the South, which is Swati. Now let's see how can we modify the query in order to get the results for only these two columns. So I'm gonna go to my uh, query once again, and I let the join be the inner join, which, which we actually applied. You can just take a look, it's an inner join here. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a concatenated join. So I'm going to click on region and then hold the control key and then click on sales rep. So now I've concatenated these two fields, region and the sales rep. And the similar stuff, I'm going to do it here. So the order is region first and then the sales rep. So number one and number two, let the join be inner only. Now it's going to match both these rows wherever it finds north and Rajat, south and Swati, north and Veronica. And it's only going to keep those rows. And you can see that already 40 rows have been matched. I'm going to say OK, and I have the data for that. And obviously, then I like to remove the column. So that step was good. And I'm going to say close and load. And I should have the right data. So I should have Rajat, Swati, and Veronica in the sales rep. And in the region column, I should just have north and south. And that's what I have it. Now, when you add something here or when you delete something here, this is going to affect my query. All right. And just in case, in case you want to add a column, then you can add a column here and then you need to go back to the query once again 
and then select three columns in the order and then apply the inner join once again and this query will be up and running once again all right that is how you could apply filters with multiple criteria using power query in excel now the difference between excel and power bi is that in power bi there are no grids there are no cells right so how could we do similar stuff uh, of uh, applying filters to our data but not in excel in power bi all right, I'm in Power BI right now and I have already loaded the data into, into Power BI. Uh, and you can see that a couple of steps have been applied, but no filters have been applied yet. And I'd like to dynamically filter the region by whatever uh, filter I'd like to apply. Now, since there are no cells or no grids like the way you have it in Excel, uh, we're going to use something called as a parameter in Power BI to create a place where the user can write his filter and then the filter is applied here. Now the same parameter could have been done in Excel also but since Excel has the convenience of writing the value in a cell so I picked up the value from the cell and then I loaded that data into Power BI in, into Power Query. So let's just see that how can we create a parameter which is the place where the user will write by what region he would like to filter the data. So I'm going to click on the home tab and in the home tab, I'm going to click on manage parameters and I'll create a new parameter. I'll give the parameter a name. Let's just say filter region. And uh, you can see that right now the current value is nothing. I'm just going to say, let's say North and I'm going to say, okay. And you can see that immediately a filter region parameter has been uh, created inside power query and the current value of that filter is North. Now let's just go over to the data tab and apply the filter here. So initially when we were doing it in Excel, I told you that why don't you apply any filter right here and then in the formula bar you can change it and link it to the filter region. Now this time we're going to only use the interface that means we are not going to touch the formula bar and we'll still connect it to the filter uh, parameter. So I'm going to click on text filters right here and I'm going to say equals and right now this is a particular value I'm gonna link it to a parameter and I just have one parameter which is filter region I'm gonna click on OK and it filters down the entire data by north and this was the same thing that we wrote manually in our uh, Excel but this time I have used the interface to create the same thing now this is only good because parameters can only accept one single value so this is only good so if I change that to south here S O U T H I'm going to press enter and if you take a look at the data now the data has been filtered by south now so this is only good for only one region what if you had to apply filters in multiple regions in that case what you need to do is you need to uh, load the data from excel to power bi and then again go to merge queries and apply an inner join and that's how you can be able to filter the data uh, using multiple filters or multiple filters with columns. One of the other ways to do that is that you create that table inside Power Query itself. So you click on enter data and you click region here, write the heading as region. I write here west, I write here south. So I have two uh, of the filters here. I'm going to name this table as uh, and I'm going to click on OK and you can see that I have a query here which is created by Power Query itself. I've not linked it to Excel and I have multiple filters here. Now if somebody wants to add a region he needs to go to the source step click on the gear icon and then add multiple values here. Um, but in case you'd like to link it to Excel, you can also do that. In case you want to add the columns, you can also do that. And now I'm going to use the same thing like I did it in Excel. So I'm going to um, actually delete this filter for a while and uh, go to home, click on merge queries and link it to the multiple filter that I have right now just created using enter data. Uh, this column and this column and the join type is going to be inner, the matching rows only. Click on OK. It just keeps the matching rows. Um, I just get rid of this column I don't need it anymore and you can see that 293 rows have been loaded with the filter condition and that's it I could just load the data into Power BI so two ways of going about it I mean two or three ways of going about it one is you can create a parameter the second is load data from Excel and the third is that you can also enter data right into Power Query in Power BI and then apply filters on your data all right, that's about it. Uh, let me know how it was. In case you have any questions, please feel free to put them down in the comments below. I'll be more than happy to help you out. And thanks so much for watching this. You take care of yourselves. Bye-bye.